Well, good evening, all my little bugaboos. It is Caddy Mott here with you tonight, feeling rather goofy and, uh, well, happy to be here. And, uh, well, this will be one of my rarest scene suits. It just felt like she needed to come out of the closet and have a little fun tonight. So, Marvie. Yay! Um, this is a suit that I made 100% by myself. Uh, I did get some coaching from Midori during some of it, but I did all the work by me. It's a weird project, and uh, yeah, I don't get to come out very much, but I figured this would be a good day to do it. So, please don't forget both my Patreon link and my coffee link are in the description box below. Both of which are good ways to help support me and my channel, and help me make better videos for you, my fluffy buggy public. But for now, sit back and relax. Still in there. String. Well, I'm dealing with that. Anyway, sit back and relax, take some still photos, and then we'll see what our fun happens. Warning, I can't see straight ahead, so I'm doing my best on the photo part. And uh, so down, so down, and we're fine. Well, whatever that turns out to.
<sighs> well, there we are. Uh, this particular uh, variation of Caddy's existence came from a two-page comic I had that artist Proteus draw for me um, of their wasp character, a male wasp, who tricked Caddy into drinking a uh, Rufy, and uh, he woke up transformed into a female moth. And I've had a few more pictures drawn of that moth variant of Caddy. And at some point I was like, you know what? I need to make this into a suit. And I did. Um, it is probably one of the absolute softest fursuits I own, because light purple on her main, main body part is stupid soft. And the run of the long tile fur is a, it's actually a really soft version. Um, and this is actually where the pink neck cloth originated was hers. And well, other characters have gotten to wear it now. I even took the time to make the secondary arms because, well, insect. So I sewed on some plush mid-arms, uh, actually very dactile, so I can uh, grab really, I can actually do the zipper on this suit from inside of it, so that's a bonus. Uh, and since I did the last modifications to the face, I can breathe, that's a bonus. And more or less, see, the hardest part is the, uh, the, the hair swoop, which I really need to rework. Uh, does kind of angle down a little bit. Uh, the bug butt has a lot more detail than it actually shows, but uh, it is actually ribbed, so that uh, different sections are supposed to be a little segmented, both on the top and the bottom, but you're supposed to see on the uh, bottom or the top. Um, yeah. Uh, this was a fun project I did a few years ago, back when I still lived in Carlisle, and, well, I still love her, and she's fun, and she has at least one fan on the internet, so, it's for that one person that actually likes my boss, hope you like it. Uh, <laughs> that was for me, but thank you to enjoy too. Uh, yeah. Uh... Other than directly ahead, vision is actually pretty darn good. Uh, as long as there's not too much glare. Right eye is a little better than the left eye. Just do the angle of the hair. Um, but yeah. This is fun outfit. Being a bug. Uh, originally I had uh, rods in the wings. Uh, big metal rods. I took those out almost immediately because... It made it almost impossible to get in and out of suit because then I had these gigantic holes I had to deal with besides the bodysuit itself. And that not only was getting in a pain, but as soon as I started walking around with it, it really turned into a pain. <laughs> um, the hands are attached, the feet are not, the neck club obviously is not. The butt and the wings both come off, so I could remove those if necessary for cleaning or uh, storage or tra uh, transport process. Uh, so when I had the metal rod in, I made the wings a lot more needed to be able to come off because trying to fit that in the fursuit bag or tote, as well as a body you had to somehow mangle into the same shape, just didn't work right. But yeah, this one super soft mom that uh, Really happy to be here and uh, happy to get to see all you plus. So, well, all good things. Uh, well, hey, don't forget about my Patreon, or, uh, oh, sorry, this part. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little dingy bell, the little dingy bell, let you know when I post new videos. Who knows, could be this moth. I think I'll wear it again in the near future just to get a couple more shots of her. She's a blast. <laughs> and of course, Patreon link and coffee link are in the description.
box below. Both of which are good ways to help support me and my channel, help you make some decisions like, say, if you really like this moth and you want to request this suit to be put on a film. I'll do it. Just ask. Give me a dollar, you get that requested. Uh, but hey, uh, the moth really thinks that you should have a good fluffy day. Take today to transform into something really fun for yourself. Put on something soft and cuddly and just have a good day of it. For now, thank you for spending some time with me. I really hope you have a blast of a day and uh, leave a light on for me. I'll have a round. <laughs> Bye!